Hey, what up y'all? It's me, your boy, Lil D, coming at you from the den with another nursing video. Now, NCLEX is right around the corner. For those of you who have just finished your nursing program in December, you're looking at taking your finals here in January. And I'm gonna tell you how I passed the NCLEX in 75 questions with only getting C's as grades throughout the whole nursing program. So that's right, I got through the nursing program in my associates, I wasn't even doing a dual enrollment program with only C's. Now I studied so hard when I was in nursing school, the hardest that I've ever studied in my whole life, but even then I just managed to get C's and even on my HESI's, HESI test at the end of each block, I ended up on getting barely passing grades. They were passing, but they weren't anything to brag about. But when I went to go take the NCLEX, I only did one thing, and I finished the NCLEX in 75 questions, and I kind of thought that the NCLEX was tricking me somehow, because the questions that the NCLEX was asking me seemed to be a lot more easy than the questions that I was studying. One of my students, who I had coming with me into the hospital reached out to me recently and she asked me what tips I had for her in regards to studying for the NCLEX and she also said that she needed to get some cram sessions in so this is something that I wouldn't do I wouldn't have cram sessions on stuff that you learned in nursing school because at this point in the at this point where you're at if you don't know it you just don't know it I mean if there's things that you need to brush up on Fine, but I wouldn't try to cram all these different topics in at one time because it's just going to be too much and you're not going to be studying the right thing probably. The one tool that I used to study for the NCLEX and it wasn't a class that cost $400 to $500, it wasn't buying a bunch of these large books that I had to carry around and flip through the pages, I used the NCLEX Mastery app and I wish I discovered this a lot earlier, not that this is an ad or anything but I had all these NCLEX questions on my phone and I was able to do hundreds of, hundreds of them a day. Now I could do them while I was grocery shopping, I did them while I was at the gym on the stair stepper, I did them at home while I was watching TV, and then I also had my study time where I just sat there and did those also. The NCLEX Mastery, once you do a question, if you get it right or wrong, it will give you the rationale on what the reason is. And after doing hundreds and hundreds of these, the questions, you were able to kind of decipher them. Even if you didn't know exactly what the answer was, you're able to pull apart the question and see this doesn't make the sense, this doesn't make sense, and find out what the right answer was. And in fact, when I went to go take the NCLEX test, I had done thousands of these questions. The questions on the NCLEX kind of seemed to be a trick. I thought that they were a little too easy, maybe. Um, I was missing something, but I actually passed the NCLEX in 75 questions. Is it 75 or 76? But I remember it turning off. I mean, I wasn't confident back then. I was still super nervous. I remember I went to Duncan because my boyfriend dropped me off because I was so nervous and I got myself a coffee and I just sat there. As for the types of questions that were on the NCLEX, I got maybe one math problem, maybe. I got maybe two to three ABG problems. But the way they ask the questions, it's not like, do you know the definition of metabolic acidosis? It, they give you scenarios, and that's what it gave you in the app. I mean, in, you can do these types of questions in a Saunders textbook also, but then you have to flip through the pages, and I like that it gives you the rationale right away, where you don't have to flip back to the rationale and read it, because it just saves time, and you can choose the topics that you want to do more questions on and it will tell you which topics you need to improve on or you are good with and you can move on to the next one. Good luck to all my people out there who are going into the NCLEX, pro NCLEX test. I know it is not easy. I'm not saying that is easy. Um, this is just what worked for me. Go ahead and check out some of my other nursing videos if you want a little bit more of me. Make sure you like this video and subscribe and I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks. Bye.